All right, it is roster predictions time. I don't have downgrades because I just wasn't finding a lot of people I thought were really important to mention for the downgrades. So, just doing upgrades. And we're going to start it off with the pitchers. I just have two. Not a whole lot. But one of these is a prediction for gold. And that's Carlos Carrasco. Last five starts, 153 ERA and a .99 whip. That can definitely get him over the hump. He had a 14 strikeout game. Uh, not his last start, but the start before that. So it can very well... Boost him up, and him and Danny Salazar are golds, along with Corey Kluber, so that's going to be three golds for the uh, Cleveland Indians. And my second one is Aaron Sanchez of the Toronto Blue Jays, and his past four starts, 161 ERA. Doing really well, plus one, maybe a plus two. And if he does get that plus two, he kind of goes in that Jeff Samarja, Justin Verlander territory where they just, they just play the wait and see game. See how he does. That's it for pitchers. I have one catcher, and that is Wilson Ramos. He's in 352 versus right handed pitching. Only 74 contact against them. That can go up. And, you know, plus one, plus two. Maybe he becomes an 84. He's kind of like the opposite of a Yachty or Molina. He doesn't have good fielding, but he has good hitting, and Yachty is hitting not good, but he has great fielding. So polar opposites right there, Ramos and Molina in this game. No first baseman. I do have a second baseman. Uh, two second basemen. First one's Ian Kinsler. He has 16 home runs this season, 52 power righties, 57 lefties. Those two can definitely get bumped up. And maybe we start putting Ian Kinsler on, you know, Diamond Watch. Because start he's hitting really well. He has that good fielding. Then again, people thought Cano was going to go Diamond. He hasn't gone Diamond, so... I'll maybe start monitoring Kinsler just a little bit. Not too seriously just yet. Second one is my second gold candidate this week. And it is Gene Segura who is hitting 313 this season, and I believe it's like somewhere around 80 contact righties. He's a gold, and that's very easily um, um, attainable for him. So, Segura and Carrasco, my two gold candidates this week. Now we move on to third base, and Todd Frazier, I've been watching him for a while, and he has his batting average over 200 against righties and lefties. Maybe we see the righty contact go up because it just needs to go up two, and he is a gold. So he's so close, but so far away from being that ever elusive gold. And I have 14 of them, so he's really important to me. And, but anyway, moving on to Troy Tulowitzki, who has been on a big hot streak since his return from the disabled list. He's hitting 338 with seven home runs, and he was a diamond. Um, to start off the year, and maybe he's going to make that bounce back. Maybe we see the righty contact go up. And I do not have Stanton. Now, Stanton has been on a hot streak, but his hot streak has featured quite a bit of home runs. And he has 87 righty power, 97 lefty power. And the struggle with Stanton is his contact. He can hit all the home runs he wants, but if he's not getting, you know, two, three hit nights every now and again, his batting average isn't going to go up. If he just keeps going, you know, one for four, one for five with a home run, it's not going to help him out that much. And I got my got one other shortstop. It's not a Lemus Diaz. It is Danny Espinosa. Since June, hitting 324 with 12 home runs, and he has 59 or below contact and power. Those all could go up and could definitely see a plus three for him, get him to silver. And you can make, you know, you can make a small profit. Not a big profit, but a small one. But a wise man once said a one stub profit is still a profit. Move on to left field. And for left field, I have the San Diego Padres, Melvin Upton Jr., who's hitting 256 versus lefties and is a 284 average with 25 RBI with runners in scoring position. That's as of yesterday. And you can see. 
the lefty stats are very, very bad. You can see a boost in contact. His clutch, you can see a boost in. Silver, I don't think is out of the question for him this week, but I think that they would put him at a 77. Actually, I think... Okay, yeah, sorry. I skipped one. We have another left fielder, and it's Michael Saunders. He's hitting 290, um, higher than 290, versus righties and lefties. And you can see there. You can see a boost. I can see a definite boost in the lefty contact, maybe even the righty contact. But the thing I'm afraid of is that he kind of turns into Christian Yelich, where he goes up to an 84, but he stays there because... He's been good, but not, like, great, you know? He, <clears throat> how do I word this? It's kind of like, you know, he's been doing very well, but not well enough to get himself into that gold status. So, I don't know. That was probably a bad wording, but, you know, it's a, my best explanation of it. He'll probably be hanging around the 84 for quite a bit. And I have two center fielders, the first being Adam Jones. I mentioned him last week. Uh, for goal candidate, that didn't happen. He does have a hit in 15 of his last 16. He's been hitting very well against righties. You can see the contact. can see the power go up. But now I'm thinking that they put him at a plus one and just monitor him, kind of like Jackie Bradley Jr. has been over the past weeks. Another center fielder, a second one, Marcel Ozuna. 294 versus righties with nine home runs. 69 righty contact, 69 righty power. See both those go up. Plus one, plus two. I don't see him getting to an 84 though. And that is going to be it. That is all the guys that I have. So two goal candidates: Carrasco, Segura, and then Espinosa, the silver candidate. Frazier, someone to look out for, but I'm not too sure about him. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and go make those profits.